Today, it's the actual, actual finale of the Inazuma 11 Go Chrono Stones randomizer. Today, we take on Children of the Night, and let's do this, TXM style. What's up, everyone, and welcome back to today's video. This is the finale, 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 finale of the Instagram Go Chrono Stones. No more episodes after this, unless you remember, in which case you might get competition route ones. Ooh, cheeky. Um, but this is the actual, actual finale, and it is time ooh, to take on Children of the Night. Let's do this in a TXM-esque style. This is our team. If you don't remember from the last episode, we let uh, everyone else, everyone got leveled up to their final forms. Um, and so we're going to go to the Football Frontier Stadium. We're going to take on Children of the Night. I am terrified. But I'm I, I'm a multitude of emotions. I'm sad. I am sad today. Today I'm in mourning because I've really, really, really enjoyed this series. Oh, Nino. Okay, sure. Uh, I have really, really, really enjoyed this series. And I'm very sad to see it go. But hopefully we can make this episode a banger. And we can go out with a hell of a bang. And um, Janice can score another billion goals. That is the dream. But let's do this. Yeah, I'm ready to be my last battle. I mean, I'll save first. Because you never know when saving is going to be useful. And let's do it. Organize a team for anyone you like in the lineup. Well, this is our lineup. Let's just go through them one by one. Um, and just reminisce slightly. So first up, we have Janice. Um, obviously, he has been with us this entire time. He was uh, He's our Aryan. And he has been the main... I'd say probably up there with the main goal scorer of the entire team. Been in absolutely incredible. Fantastic. Zephyr. He was Faye. He looks cool. Kind of useless, though. Pan. Kind of useless. Decent midfielder, I guess. Darren Lachance. Hasn't done much. He's just kind of been on the team the whole time anyway, but he hasn't really done a whole lot on the team. Nelly's been... This is just the Nelly we have just because she looks like it's Nelly. She's the mascot of the team. Romeo. We brought him in at the like, last episode. He is one hell of a defender. And he already proved his might against, um, against Luna Howell. Cinco is another one who's kind of just been on the team. He, you know, he's a decent uh, midfielder, I guess. Tringo Tia is the world's worst block and um, world's worst defender, who we still continue to use as a defender for some reason, even though he's very obviously a midfielder. Nice one, Tom. Diamond has been the main goal scorer throughout these series, even though his kick start is weirdly not great. But I guess it's great mixy max, but oh well. Um, but he has done a lot for the team. He's kind of slowed off a bit in the post game, but he's still been great. Love him. This is our main goalkeeper, ne Adult Nelly, who has smashed it 100% with her massive catch stat. She's brilliant. Um, Zip Windrush has been um, one of our better def um, defenders. I absolutely loved him. He is an armor um, fighting spirit option. Should really give him a fighting spirit, huh? Um, Bar Black is Xanarch. He has been, if I may be honest, a bit disappointing. I, I think he looks terrible, to be honest. Um, and I'm not the biggest fan. But he, but he has, you know, he has decent moves, all things considered. He's all right. He, he did well during um, the, the final chapter. Rotundo is our, probably one of our best defenders. Even Killer Whale isn't the best move. But he has Zan Wu. He has Raiden. He's good. I like him. I love it. I also love his design. K White has been one of our main midfielders. And um, despite the fact his stats aren't great. With Easy Breezy Kid, Double Touch, Thief Side. He's been all around great. Also, his, um, his armor five fighting spirit looks awesome. Kaon hasn't done anything. He's just here for the crack. And Bagishia... Hasn't done a whole lot, but is there because she's cool, I guess. Hell yeah. Okay, let's do it. Uh, let's have our final match against the level 80 Children of the Night. Oh my god. We have Nelly in goal, Windrush, Tia, Rotundo, and Romeo in defense. Black, Cinco, and K White in midfield with Darren Lachance, Janice, and Diamond up front. I do wonder. We can't change the formation now. I was maybe thinking we can maybe bring Janice a bit further forward, but I'm happy to go with this. It's what we've used the entire series. Let's not break it now. And Children of the Night, we have Trumver in goal with Cow Cow, Youngin, and Tistri in um, defense with Nino, Ryark, Luke, and Pin in midfield with Ricardo, Faye, and Sky Blue up front. Of course, they have Sky Blue up front. Um, we know Trumver. We know he's not great, luckily. Um, Mugen the Hand kind of drains him. We have Cow Cow, with, um, who looks like Cow Cow, to be honest, um, which is okay, okay, okay. They have, yeah, obviously, Faerun, we know, can be quite terrifying when he mixy maxes with Black Ash. Um, Nino, I'm assuming, is going to be a similar story. Uh, Astro Break, the long shot. He is, kind of has a bit of everything, which is a bit terrifying. They have Sky Blue, luckily, is a terrible forward, so, so get in there with that. Okay, they don't look terrifying, terrifying. So, hopefully, we should be all right, is, is the dream here. They have Grandfather as their coach, which is pretty fitting. But let's do this. Come on, lads. Come on, one last match. That's all you need to do. 
All you need to do to cement your place in the TXM Hall of Fame. I mean, you already have cemented your place in the TXM Hall of Fame. And I guess now my questions is, um, extend to you guys. Because if you've watched this entire series, or even just like tuned in for episodes here and there, I want to know what you've like what you've loved about the series. Like, what have your, been your favorite players we have? Um, who is your favorite person on the team? Who do you consider iconic? You know, I mean, what are your favorite memories from this series? I want to hear you guys reminiscing about this series down below. Meanwhile, Janus is going to go absolutely ballistic on some people. Come on, Janus. This is your moment. This is your absolute moment to just go insane for one final time. Because when after this, mate, you are never getting used again. Just out of curiosity, how much did you get with? 460 with just a fire drill. Ah, okay. Triple threat level four. Let's do it. Only 441 power. We only just beat him with an armified Mixy Max triple threat. Okay, right. If we went for Mugen in the hand, we definitely wouldn't have got past him. That is very interesting. We're going to bring out Nelly's Fighting Spirit now. They bring out Demogorgon on Luke. Weird choice to bring out. We also bring out Demogorgon. Um, they are, the passing is kind of screwing us over here slightly. Annoyingly, it was Darren the Chance, though, who ended up with the ball. Hugh loses his Fighting Spirit. Um, let's use the opportunity to actually get up some Fighting Spirits of our own. Let's get K White's up, I guess, because he, he is... I mean, he's running with the ball anyway. So, we can maybe, with him, start dribbling... How much does Pegasus bolt? 125! Okay, right. This is what we're going to do then. We're going to armify instead. Get his sick-ass armify up. Um, and start double-touching around people. Probably not this guy. This is probably the worst person we could have double-touched around. But to be fair, it looks like we're fine. Even though we got to fail. All I want is for... Where is Janus? Where the hell is Janus? Where did, where did he go? Who knows? But okay, 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 okay. I guess what we'll do is, if we don't know where the hell Janus is, let's get up Diamond. Okay, here we are. This Oh, that's Janus! I thought that was bloody Diamond. Okay. Hi, Janus. How you doing? Okay, triple threat. Yeah, doesn't quite do it. What we can do, though... Is summon Thunderbird. Okay. 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 See, we're learning. We're learning. We're learning. They're bringing the ball down. Which is mildly terrifying. Mildly terrifying indeed. We're going to go for a Thief's Eye. Doesn't quite work out how we want it to. We are going to go for the Tortoiseshell Pattern and hope they have... Never mind. They have the Virtu Virtuoso Volcano. Which brings Sky Blue. Which is fine though. Because we know for a fact that Sky Blue is their weakest striker. So we're just going to go for a normal catch here and hope to God. Cool. We got very lucky there. Very lucky indeed. We only just beat them out. But we did anyway. I'm trying to find some of our players to give the ball to. Um, let's pass it over to... And now into the path of Janus. Who is going to hopefully net us our second goal right here. With a triple threat. That is the dream. 472. For some reason, he's not going for Mugen in the hand, but we're going to take that. If he, if he doesn't want to go for Mugen in the hand, he does not want to go for Mugen in the hand. Do you get what I mean? We are going to um, knock him right down. We have two goals up. We should hopefully be fine, um, but we, we should be able to net a third here. Yeah, we should be able to net a third. Janus is mad. He is madness. They are just not... Their goalkeeper just refuses to try, which is kind of devastating. It's really sad to watch. Never mind, here is a Mugen in the hand. He does stop the shot, as we assumed he would if he ever pulled out that move. But okay, now they are on the run. Uh, Romeo does have the ball, though. Doesn't quite get to keep it, though. We're going to go and try and get a Mixy Max out on Nelly. Yeah, lovely. Cool, green hair Nelly enters the battle. Lovely, exactly what we wanted to see from Rotundo. Uh, I'm, I'm expecting the Dimensional Deluge here, which is why I'm going for Inferno Fist. 309. Yeah, we're fine here. Only, like, not as fine as I thought we would be. 
Okay, it's half time. Nelly lost the fighting spirit, which is okay. I am going to bring out um Veri is it Verita Urita Urita sounds very similar to Eutherus. Okay, now I've said we're both words out loud, it really doesn't. But there was a Ooh, okay. Right. That's not ideal. That is very not ideal. Okay, right. Let's immediately go to Diamond and bring out Black Butcher. Because if we want another goal, that's how we're going to have to get it. And something tells me we are going to want another goal in this match. Alright, we're going to go for the Gigabat Geyser. It's probably overkill. But I want to be on the safe side. Hello. Hello, you are all in our business. All in our business. Hello. Armified combustion catch. It's happening again. They've frozen time. We've frozen time again. <laughs> um, okay. Is the same thing gonna happen now? That happened last time where they, they, anyway, they still score a goal. Please don't let that be the same thing that happens. Okay, cool. Right. Okay, I'm I'm taking a hesitant because we just froze time again. Um somehow. N Nelly just possesses powers outside of our understanding as humans. Unfortunately, with that being said, Nelly is almost at the end of a whatever tether when it comes to being a goalkeeper and fighting spirits and stuff. Yeah, okay, that's not gonna work. So we do need to be careful. That's gonna score. Things just got, suddenly, a lot more intense. Okay, right, we need to make some changes. Namely, we need to take Janus off. Bring on Bagishia. Yeah, put Diamond there. And do things a little like this. Okay, yeah, Nelly has lost a fighting spirit, meaning that we need another goal stat. Or... We just need to stop them from scoring another goal. This, this was not an ideal start. No, this really wasn't an ideal start. Okay, right. Um, we're gonna go for glue. I'm a glue. Special tactics, tortoiseshell pattern. Cool. Okay, nice, 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 nice. You have the ball. You're gonna start moving forward. You might just shoot. Go for the Astro Break. See how much it does. 400? Potentially. Never mind. They went for the Mugen Hand. But that is time-wasting. More important than anything else, it is time-wasting. So we kind of desperately need... Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, no! Fist beam. Yes! Nelly! 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 Oh! My heart! My heart in that final moment. Oh my god. Oh, plot. Oh, plot. Oh, lovely, lovely plot. My heart. Also, the Children's Night Kit is really cool. It's a really cool kit. 
But oh, look, it's definitely not Ray Dark. Am I right, lads? But oh my god. Oh my god. This is cool setup for um, the bloody galaxy in it. Which, by the way, is our next series. We are doing the um, Inazuma 11 Go Galaxy Randomizer, which will be coming out the next scheduled Let's Play day after this one. It's pretty cool. Um, but okay. Well, that's it. I know there's like the whole grandfather thing, so the game doesn't feel very finale. But I promise you this is. We're not doing the grandfather route. Uh, at least we're going to be doing that for channel members only. Um, and you can go become a channel member by jo clicking the join button down below. It is to get access to videos. It's five quid, like five English pounds a month. Um, and it's insanely appreciated. You get members, uh, you get member shout outs. You get um, exclusive videos. You get early access to videos. Um, and obviously it's super appreciated. But anyway, that, that being said, thank you guys so much for watching this series. Genuinely, from the bottom of my heart, the series is done beyond my wildest expectations. And thank you so much. We've been doing this for the last like four months. Um, and thank you so much for it. It's been so much fun. But that is all I have to say um, about it. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. I will see you guys next time for the Inazuma 11 Go Galaxy Randomizer. I'll see you then. But for now, bye.